I'm Jonathan Reinhardt here with Wargaming Recon, and we're here at Total Con 2020, and we want to show you a cool new game that you might be interested in. So I'm referring to, of course, Siege Warfare. So what do you about it? Yeah, so Siege Warfare is a uh, customizable card game with no random packs. It's based on military history. There's currently two sets. Um, the first set is the Civil War. It's based on the Civil War. The second set is the Greco-Persian Wars. So we're branching into ancient wars, and uh, we're planning on expanding into other wars as well. That's cool. Um, so you have a variety. Let's talk about the Civil War, right? Sure. So you have a variety of packs here, right? Um, how did you decide what's in each pack? All right. Like, what do they represent? Is it certain battle or campaign time period or? Uh, what are we looking at? Sure, absolutely. Um, so each one kind of has both a historical and a kind of a play style theme to them. So for instance, uh, Scorched Earth um, was picked, basically built around um, Sherman, basically Sherman's March to the Sea, um, Burning of Atlanta, uh, Ulysses S. Grant, things like that. That's cool. uh, Sherman. Um, this one's indivisible, and it's based around uh, Abra Abraham Lincoln, among other things. And there's there's like Gettysburg Address, Emancipation Proclamation, things like that. Um, and we have other ones, for instance, uh, Defending Gettysburg, another Union deck. Cool. It's based on the get the battlefield of Gettysburg, um, the, with the Union action there, with like Buford's cavalry, 20th Maine volunteers, things like that. Awesome. Um, just as another example, so this is a Confederate deck, and it's called Heart of the South, and it's based with um, like basically the Confederate Army at Gettysburg, among other things, uh, along with things like Fredericksburg and some other ones. Uh, but this has like Lee, Longstreet's First Corps, Pickett's Charge, things like that. Very sweet. And then you also you mentioned your ancients over here. Um, how did you did you use a similar mechanic when you were dividing them up for the packs, or what's the methodology there? Yes, absolutely. So um, all the ducks can play with any of the others, and okay. they all have a um, they all have the same cost. So you could actually play between different decks, and you can oh. even customize between them if you want. But they're playable right out of the box, so you don't really you don't have to if you don't want to. You can just play them right as is. Okay. Um, this is just an example. So this is a Spartan deck. So this is a Greek deck, mm -hmm. and then this. This is a might of Persia deck, so this is um, a Persian-based deck around uh, King Xerxes. So this would be kind of like the Greek army and the Persian army at the Battle of Thermopylae, and um, you know, based around Sparta and some of these other places, um, some famous units like uh, it, uh, Immortals, things like that. If you got anyone's familiar with 300, 300. Spartans or anything like that, I was yep. literally just think of that. Yeah. 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 So how does the game get play? It's uh, two player, four player? Sure, yep. Um, it's two to six player. Cool. Each player needs their own deck to play. So, um, you know, if you, unless you knew somebody that you had it, I would suggest probably at least two decks to get started. Okay. Um, so each player starts with a 50 card deck and you're trying to make your opponent run out of cards. Okay. Um, so like, let's say, just as an example, you, um, let's play, say you're playing a Union Army and you're, you play Buford's Cavalry in this unit. Okay. Um, I don't know if this can be seen, but the red five is how much damage can be dealt. Okay. Um, so so the number is your attack value. Yeah, exactly. So is this blue? is offense and defense. So the blue is defense. defense. Okay. Yeah. So if this guy attacks me and isn't blocked, Five cards are discarded from the top of my deck. Okay. Um, so, so you're you trying to wear me out of cards. There's no use of like counters. There's no. Uh, there's counters only like for, for tracking like life. Yeah, not damage tracking like that. Yeah, and damage isn't even remembered for life, so it's reset at the end of the turn. So if this guy is, doesn't die, okay, doesn't take damage. You know? That's cool. Yeah, but you can block too. So if he attacks. I could stop the damage by blocking him with okay. somebody, and then they would compare their offense and defense. So in this case, it would be the red five versus his blue four, he dies. Red four versus his blue six, he lives. Oh, okay. But I stop the damage. Um, I could also play surprise cards. Like, for instance, I could play a uh, battle cry or something. So I could play, like, yeah, exactly, battle cry. Um, give this guy a plus two, plus two. That's right. Play as a surprise during battle. Mm -hmm. And now he's a six, six or is a 5-6, so now he dies, he lives. He lives. So, so you can change things. And I see you have 
these gold border cards? No, what are these? Yeah, so these gold border cards are token cards. So they start, every player starts them in play at the beginning of every game. Okay. Um, so this is the, uh, the treasury, okay. and this has uh, surplus and debt, and then this is a resources card, and you basically it's two kind of gen somewhat generic resources that you could play. Okay. Currency, which gives you three all at once. Farm, which gives you one, um, one that the first turn and one each turn you play it. And then um, you can also play resources from your hand. So you can play things like Plantation, Shenandoah Valley, whatever, you know, factories, awesome. things like that. And then there's the battery. And the battery affects artillery. So artillery, archers, they're like something called battery units. Mm -hmm. And basically, in order to defeat your art like an opponent's artillery, you have to take out the battery. Okay. Um, so you have to deal enough damage to basically destroy the battery. Um, but after that's happened, it uh, basically you lose your battery units. Okay. And it remains in play. So instead, the battery units disappear. And then, what's the standard turn sequence? Is, I, I presume it's I go, you go, and then things happen in a certain order. Sure, exactly. So each player takes their turn. Um, there is a turn. Yeah, there's a turn sequence card. Oh, okay. Here. Um, so it kind of spelled, you know, it, each deck is in, that's included with it. But that's very handy. It's nice to have one of those. Yeah, exactly. So most cards are played during um, deployment, like first or second deployment. Usually first deployment, most cards are played. You play your resource, then you play units, things like that. You, like, you pay for things. You use surplus, your surplus, to pay for things like Buford's Cavalry, okay. Red 3. You have them in play. The only cards that generally are played other than at the deployment would be like these surprise cards, like effects, like the battle cry, taunts, things like that. Okay. Um, these sorts of cards. Um, so you basically take turns, you know, you play back and forth. Um, the, the draw is you draw seven at the beginning of the game and you play cards. And then you draw back up to seven at the start of each of you know, during each of your draws. So cool. And like you so said, you can replenish your hand. There's always a lot of options. So. You keep playing until game ends when someone runs out of cards, right? Yeah, exactly. Now, are there any cards that kind of let you replenish your deck at all? Yes. Like that? Yes, absolutely. So, there are cards like, for instance, there's a card called um, Stockpile where you can play it and like it's like an effect where you get restock 12. It basically gives you 12 back. That's cool. Um, there's cards like Gettysburg Address, I think, uh, restock some. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's another common mechanic is these ground cards. So like Gettysburg, Bull Run, yeah. um, Washington, D.C., these like city or battlefield type cards. Yeah. They have an ability called Fortify. Um, so like this says Fortify 4, Renew uh, 4 during, or restock 4 during your Renew sequence. So basically what that means is that you're putting four cards of your choice from your uh, discard pile back in your deck. Awesome. You're basing it. So, <laughs> where can people find the game? The game Obviously can be in Total Con, right? Yep, but, absolutely. But besides yeah. that, where would people go if they wanted to pick up copies? Absolutely. Um, so, the game is available online on at www.siegewarfare.com. Uh, awesome. And then, what does it run for for people to get into it? So, normally decks cost $16. Right. Um, sometimes at events we have discounts. Online, um, generally, if you buy the whole set, like uh, all the Civil War decks or all the Greco Persian War decks, it drops down to about $15. An hour. Okay. And do you have any recommendations for first time players for what they should pick up? Anyone, can, any of the decks work with each other. Um, two popular choices, so if you were going with Civil War and wanted to just get two decks, one popular choice is Defending Gettysburg and Guard of the South. So this is like the North and the South of Gettysburg. Okay. That's a pretty popular choice. Um, for the Greco-Persian War decks, the Walls of Sparta and Might of Persia is kind of like the 300 battle. It's kind of among other things, so people really like that. They, they, they like the Spartans. And then, when you do really well with your Ancients, I have a feeling. Um, what will happen next? So next, um, there's a couple of options for expansions. 
Um, but what I'm thinking most likely is probably World War II. Oh, very cool. Big market there. People love a good World War II game. Yeah. So we're, we want to have, I want to have, uh, you know, ancient, kind of, you know, um, older and like more modern wars, all kinds of things. So. That's very cool. And I know you guys kickstarted something at one point, right? Yes. Um, me, I, I'm Sean Smith, and my cousin Logan Gendron, we created the game together. And um, yeah, basically we kickstarted both of these. So okay. this, we got started through Kickstarter, and the second set was also released through Kickstarter. So we'll probably do that again. For World of Two, yeah. Yeah, I, I will do that again. Yeah. We just uh, completed our first Kickstarter, do another season of the show. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, it's a roller coaster. <laughs> a lot of friends, you know, would create games like how you guys have done, and you just kick started, and it's like, oh, you know, this thing. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's sympathetic. But, like, you don't know until you've done it. it, it I, obviously, it's different to do a game on there than to do a show. But I can, I, I fully sympathize. <laughs> so be sure, everyone, to check out these amazing games here, no matter what time period you're interested in. Check them out online. Over here, Siege Warfare. Give it a try. Thank you. Thank you.